So when um, the lead actor, Iman Croissant, auditioned for Along the Roadside, mm -hmm. can you tell us how that came about and did you have any idea when he reached out to you what type of a following he had? Uh, I, I was tipped off. Uh, like here's the guy, uh, he, uh, email introduction. You know, uh, I think he'll be a good pick for the part. We were in a, in a kind of closing stages of uh, casting an actor for that part who has nothing to do with YouTube, it's a Hollywood guy, been in movies, you know. And we're talking to his agent about contract and working in laundry and dry cleaning into a contract. And that's exactly what, you know, my point is like, you're dealing with these people, not that I'm dealing against Hollywood actors, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's tricky. And then I have a guy who says, look, I have half a million people on my channel, almost, and, uh, you know, uh, here's the audition. I would really like to audition for it. I have to be part of this film. And, of course, you know, you listen, and then once I saw how badly he wanted to be in the film, and the potential uh, of him, and, you know, I, I would never, now, in the retrospect, I don't see who else would play, uh, especially since so many people who saw the film in Europe and here, loved his performance and he's so different than what he does on YouTube I mean he's I think most of the people know who he is it's like you know the Obama impersonator guy like we all kind of at some point heard I heard about him before I knew that that's what he, that's him uh, auditioning for the part I saw you know Obama clips online I, I know that's him he transforms for that it's really it's funny and what's interesting <laughs> about emailing back and forth it's almost a test for you and probably for him as well to kind of see different things. Because you can learn a lot from someone from just email exchanges over time. Yeah. How fast they get back to you, how responsive they are to what you ask them. Yes, 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 that. And first time we met, we all we did was talk for like eight hours, just walking up and down the beach. You know, it wasn't, you know, okay, can you play the part? We just started talking. And, uh, you know, he opened up about a lot of things and, uh, um, it was, it's good to establish some sort of trust off the bat and it's, I don't know, it becomes less professional and more personal and uh, I think that's who you want on set in a low indie movie where the food will be horrible, sleeping arrangements will be pretty bad, it's going to be intense, it's going to be hell and that's who you want to be part of that crew. I mean, one of the people that would have been a DP on the film is a renowned DP, but I thought this is, they wouldn't, I don't know, like, you know, how do you bring them pizza five days straight in a row for lunch, you know, it's, you know, <laughs> you need people who, who are, I don't know, who, who want to take the bullet. So it's almost like you have to look at who you're casting, not just are they talented, but can you have almost a relationship with this person? Because it really is. I mean, you're getting into a, a year, two, three year long relationship. Yeah, that was the thing we decided with the German uh, actress. Our lead is a German actress. We flew her in from Germany. And uh, when we sent out the script to a casting agent in Germany, we got a really good response. We got additions from actresses that won Berlin Camera 2012 at Berlin Film Festival. Like good actresses with producers who come with money. But that was the thing. Like, all these requests, you know, it's okay, this is not, and this little German actress who was great and is great, Angelina, she's a theater actress in Hamburg and she's just a trooper, like I'll sleep at somebody's couch, no problems for a month, yeah, I'll do it, and you know, again, we just spoke yesterday and we can't wait to bring her here in a festival in October. <laughs> do you have any tests, little tests that you throw out people's way to kind of see, is this going to work, is this not? You know, uh, one of the things regarding Angelina was this one actress uh, auditioned and, uh, you know, economically she's a smarter choice because of, I don't know, all these things that then you would get as far as distribution and marketing. But then, as soon as I started contemplating the idea of saying sorry to Angelina, if I had to, I started breaking down, like, I can't do this, she's so lovable, you know? And that's exactly what I needed for the character in the film because it has to do with that uh, in the storyline. And I was like, nah, forget it. We'll just, we'll just stick with Angelina. Because I want the people to feel the way I felt. You can't say no to this person. Right. <laughs> yeah, it shows from the trailer. Though. Yeah. Oh, thank you.